Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about a very popular topic on this channel. I have done a scarf video in the past that was very successful. A lot of people watch it, make me so happy that people still love scarves because I feel like they are so underrated and I thought it deserved a part two. So today I will be sharing with you not only new ways to tie your scarves, if you like the more basic, more essential knots, my previous video is is a great resource for that. I wanted to show you some more fashionable, stylish solutions, more statement ways of showcasing your scarves, so I think that will be fun. We'll also share with you the pieces that I think you need, like those core elements to be able to achieve any type of style that you want with your scarves, and also how I store them, how I take care of them, how I manage to keep them looking pristine and fresh every Every time. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial part of this video. I will turn you around in front of my closet just so that you have more space to see what I'm doing. Apologies for the revealing top. This is a bikini top, not a bra, so I guess that's okay. Just want you to see what I'm doing without clothes and hair all up in my face. First little knot that we're going to do is the one that I showed you in my unexpected summer essentials video with the necklace. A lot of you asked me about it and it is the easiest thing to achieve. You only need a big scarf. This is 130, so 130 centimeters and a sort of chunky, sturdy choker necklace. So something that will hold up to your neck really well. So put on your necklace. Then you're going to fold your scarf in half, making it into a triangle. So I will take my triangle and I will take the tips of the triangle where there is the straight border and I will just tie it around my waist like this. Just so that it isn't flying all over, we we're going to just clean it up later. This is the magic of scarves. You can just zhuzh it up, adjust it, tuck it here, make it looser there, and then you have a perfect result. Now we have the tips. We're going to open it, pass it through so the necklace is between the two tips, and you're going to make a knot. The reason why I already tied it is because I want to get a clear view of how much I want to tie around the neck because if I tie too loose or around the tips, not giving it enough length, it's going to show some tight bow, which we don't want. You tie it around the necklace like this. You hide the tips inside just so that it looks a little bit more seamless. And then we can undo that first knot that we did and we can make it a little bit prettier. So what I like to do is sort of fold the border a little bit just to create some waste and also to have a smoother finish. Then what you can do is either tie it on the back, which is what I did on the video, or you can take it all the way to the front if you have enough scarf to do it and give a little knot here. You can leave it as is, you can hide the tips to have it a little bit less crumpled up, and there you go. I love to tie my scarf like this because I think it's so sultry, so summery, kind of gets you a lot of shoulder action without cleavage, which is something I love. That halter neck really elongates your neck with beautiful pair of earrings, which by the way, I am in love with these ones. They're from Parfois. Great for like a summer vacation when you don't want to take a bunch of special occasion tops. This absolutely solves your problem. Another type of kind of halter neck style top, and this is way easier. You just fold it in half again, making that triangle. You're gonna get the tips and you will just open them up and put them around your neck. So it was like this, you just do this. Tie it behind your neck. Then you end up with a lot of fabric. So what you can do is again, do that little fold to make it more structured around your stomach. And again, you can just tie it in the back or you can bring it to the front and there you go. Beautiful, I love how it is more covered around the neck. So it's a true halter. This with a little wrap 
how cute does that look? I mean, and then you get to the restaurant, take your little wrap off. It is a little bit more exposed, but it's not too revealing. You're good. If you feel like you don't want to show too much, you won't. Something else that I think is really fun is when you have two scarves that are either the same print with different colorways, if it is complementary colors, if it's two scarves of the same size that can work together. You can make your little top again. In this case, I want it to be almost an off the shoulder, so I'll just measure. I'll put one in front of the other and we will then sort of measure it over our bodies. I want it to be kind of here, so I have to tie my scarves considering this amount of fabric. There we go, one side done. Now on to the other one. You just pinch where you want the knot to go and you knot it while holding the scarf. This way you get a more precise measurement. Now you have your two knots. You will just open the little package that you made. There you go. Put it over your head. See if it falls where you want. It falls exactly where I wanted it to. And now you have a few options. If you want to close this up with maybe a safety pin on each side, you can, or you can take a belt and wrap it around the top that you created. And then you just start judging it around. Like for instance, here it is open. I'll just close it, find the border, close it, pass it through the belt here, then get the front part, pass it over it. And there you go. You can really tug it if you want something that's very, you know, flat, or you can create a little bit of volume, a little bit of movement. If you even want to finish this off in a glamorous way, you guys know I love my brooches. These two are different designs, but they are the same metal. So if I put them together, they will match. This would look great if this was like a block color scarf, because then you would be able to really, really see the design of the brooch in there. This is the cutest thing ever. It is so breezy, so if you suffer like me in the heat and you have a bunch of scarves like me in your closet, take them out. You can even make it a little bit more like a Roman style neckline, which I love, cow neck. Beautiful, you can put it on one side. Chic basic shift dress. Let's say you want to make this a little bit more interesting with a belt. You're going to fold your scarf, make it into a sausage. Sausage is not really a technical term, is it? You fold it into a clean, very organized stripe. Then you're going to wrap it around your waist and you could just, you know, tie it around and it would look kind of cute. If you have a ring, you guys know that I like to repurpose a lot of things. I showed you how to do this around your neck on my previous video, but you can do the same thing with your belt. So you basically just fold one of the ends, pass it through the ring like this. It will create a little loop. Then you pass the other end. This is great because you can fasten it, you can sort of adjust it and then after you passed it, you just sort of pull the other side like this. So it closes that little gap. The good thing is that by creating that loop, you can actually regulate how much you want to move around the fabric. So if you want something a little bit tighter, you can tighten it up. If you want something that is a little bit looser, you can just pull it on the side. And I like the ring because it gives it a little bit of a metallic detail which is a bit more interesting than just the scarf. There you go. And lastly, something that I think is very versatile about scarves is that it can make them into a little bag. So you just tie all of the ends. So one, make sure they're all the same length. Two, three, and four. So 
they're all tied like this then you just tie again two ends together making a little handle same thing on the other side and there you have it a little handbag how cute is that i wouldn't wear this normally to my day-to-day -day life but at the beach Maybe you want just something a little bit more dressed up for going out to lunch or for cocktails, something that is more colorful. Maybe throw in a little bag divider or a little pochette just so that things aren't, you know, floating around. But how cute! As to my collection, let's do my favorite scarf first. This one is my only designer scarf from Ferragamo. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll have seen me buying this scarf. It has such sentimental value to me because not only was it a steal, I think I paid maybe 70 euros for it. The day I bought this was during my first Vlogmas and it was when I reached, I think, maybe 100 subscribers or 300 some subscribers, something like that. And it just felt like such a celebration and such a serendipitous moment because I found the most beautiful scarf in 100% silk from an Italian brand for less than 100 euros. It, I mean, I know, maybe I'm making too much out of it, but it is really special to me. I love the color, I love the way that it falls. It's really nice to have something luxury, something premium, something designer, but it's not necessary. For example, this little number is from Intran. Excuse the creasing, but I will show you in a second how I take care of that. This is from Intran. It's that outlet I always talk about from the Maxmara group. They just put out these very high quality but extremely discounted pieces. And I love that this is 100% silk. The print is sort of that equestrian leather straps, I don't know, equestrian terms, but very easy to style, very sophisticated, has that sort of old money appeal that everybody loves, that quite luxury thing that's going on. And this cost nine euros. So you're getting the quality, you're getting the beautiful print, but not paying outrageous prices, which I think is a great tip. A lot of people go to outlets, go to discount stores, and they think of shoes, they think of bags, they think of coats, but adding a scarf to your shopping list is such an easy step because scarves are usually highly discounted and you will wear it a lot. But still, if you cannot find something that is designer or that is super high quality, 100% silk, I don't think it's a problem. I have a lot of scarves that are from fast fashion like this one is from zara beautiful has beautiful texture beautiful density but it's i think 100 percent polyester you can just wrap it around it'll look just as beautiful it's just important that the print is tasteful it matches your outfit it'll make a whole difference without breaking the bank this one is from h&m it's a more recent purchase it has sort of the zodiac sign i love the color of this because it's sort of this creamy beigey shade that goes with everything it's amazing it's also in a great size to sort of wrap around if you want to wear it over your shoulders, perfection. This one is also in my top five favorite scarves. It's from Uniqlo, Uniqlo does great scarves. This I think is 100% silk, but it was extremely affordable. And what I love about it is that it's a much lighter, much flowier silk. So great for the summer. If you want to throw this over your hair for that sort of Jackie Kennedy look. I also love the stripes. I think stripes in scarves can be such a great graphic element to add interest and a bit more of a contemporary look. This one I think is another stories maybe. Also a stripe, but it is a more blocky stripe in this palette of oranges and yellows and whites. Depending on how you fold it, how you position it, you get a different effect. This one is also really special to me because it was my mom's. I think this is kind of a linen fabric. 
which I also really like. It's very different from everything that I have in my collection. Really great for summer. It is so gorgeous. These colors remind me so much of her. So this also has a very special place in my heart. But again, the way you fold it, the way you choose to show the colors, it changes the look. This one I also got from my mom. This is I think one of my top three most worn scarves. It is such a beautiful pattern, it has that kind of paisley on the border, but then you have the little squares with a bit of Bordeaux kind of burgundy details that pulls it a little bit more into the warm side. It's a very classic print, almost like a handkerchief print, but so easy to style. Looks very classic, very put together. I love wearing this under shirts. I think it looks really, really beautiful. Something else that you can do if you have a tighter budget, but you still want a beautiful scarf is go to vintage. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? And this is not silk, it's polyester. And I don't know if this was kind of a regulation or some sort of law that Italian brands had to follow. But on the very corner of the scarf, there is this little tag that says 100% polyester. And then there is norma legge, which is kind of normative law. So I don't know if they were made to communicate that this was an actual silk. I don't know, if someone knows in the comments down below, please let me know. Be it silk, be it polyester, it's still absolutely gorgeous. Two shapes that I have in my collection that are kind of out of the ordinary, if you will, but are quite useful. One is this one, I got it from H&M. It's a set of two, there you go. So you got these two scarves and they have this sort of elongated oblong shape that might seem weird, but you can play around with this so much. One thing that I don't have in my collection is a twilly and that really is tragic and we have to remedy it. But while I don't have the twilly, which is kind of that ribbon effect scarf, you can actually fold this given that it is kind of a narrow oblong and it serves that purpose a little bit. So you can wear it around your wrist if you want to, you can wear it on your hair as a little headband, around your neck, in the handle of your purse. And it is much more versatile than I would have imagined and very charming, very girly, kind of feminine. I love this. And I also have this huge one, it's super long. Wait, let me fold it. I love the print, I think it's very Art Deco, kind of Gatsby-ish. And this, I think, is the harder scarf to style that I have. The long shape, I don't like wearing scarves like this, for instance. It's not my thing. Very bohemian, very cool French vibes, but not really my style. What I like to wear this to is either around my waist as a little belt or on my hair as a little headband. Other than that, I really don't know how to pull this off. So so maybe if you guys have any tips on how to put this to use, let me know. Then I have my huge scarves that are the ones that I showed you for the tying tutorial. I love these so much. They're both, no, this is H&M, this is Zara. So again, it goes to show you don't have to spend too much on your scarves to get beautiful prints and vibrant colors. For a core collection, I think three scarves are necessary. Beginning with the smaller square. This one is great because the way that you fold it makes it very manageable. So especially if you want to wear it around your face, on your hair, you can fold it up into a strip and wear it like a little sash or again, around your wrist. And this is a 60 by 60 centimeters, which would be kind of like 25 inches. And this is the most common type of scarf, especially for fast fashion. So if you're looking for quantity, I think it is a great way of adding pieces to your collection. Then for the most useful size, if you had to get just one, this would be it. The medium scarf. This is the one I showed you before. We're talking 90 by 90 centimeters, which makes it so versatile. It is small enough that you can 
wrap it around your neck that it doesn't look overwhelming but it's big enough that you can wear it over your shoulders you can tie this in different ways where it is a little wrap it has more space so the print is more visible the colors are more visible this i think is the absolute essential scarf also to achieve sort of more complex different knots and then finally i do think that a big scarf is very fun to have this will serve almost as like a piece of fabric that you just fold around and make into a garment we're talking 130 centimeters so pretty big which would translate to 50 inches maybe especially for summer you're gonna wear this a lot might be a little bit peculiar in terms of size you might think that you're not going to get your wear out of it but you absolutely will the way i like to start my scarves is by using a little tie rack like this it is absolutely inexpensive you do not need to get anything fancy and i will start my fast fashion scarves those that aren't too pristine in this if i had a huge closet i would probably fold them beautifully make it color coordinated but i literally have this amount of space to start my scarves so i just loop them in and it's also really easy to see them so I'll just store my kind of bigger scarves on the top loops and the smaller ones on the shorter loops. This way they're all kind of the same length. And then for my Ferragamo one, I keep it in the box neatly folded just because I want to have this forever. I want to keep its value, maybe pass it on to a daughter, a niece, to someone who loves scarves as much as me. And I store it neatly in my wardrobe like this. The downside of storing them like this is the fact that they do crease a lot. So you will see, for instance, if I take this one out, it has all of the creasing. And you do not want to wear your scarf like this because it will show and the folding won't look as neat so what i will do in this case i will just steam them i am a huge advocate for steamers we all know that the very light fabric of the scarf makes it very easy to steam i steam everything that i wear so on the day i decide to wear a scarf i'm probably steaming my clothes steaming my dress or my top so i'll just steam this together and it looks perfect in terms of washing the scarves if it is my Ferragamo scarf, I will send it to the dry cleaners just in case. But for cheaper, kind of more accessible ones, I just throw them in the washing machine, delicate cycle in a delicate bag, and it comes out perfectly. Just let them air dry and that's it. Well, that was extensive. Hopefully this video won't be 30 hours long, but I just get so excited to talk about my favorite item in my wardrobe. I think scarves are so easy great for gifting great for putting in your luggage if you have very basic outfits and you just want to juge it up a little bit hopefully you found this helpful let me know down below about your love of scarves about how you like to tie them how you like to wear them it's my favorite subject ever and we'll see each other again next time bye bye